Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to bake this morning and I wanted to just do a really quick video about how to properly measure your ingredients for baking. I find that this is one of the most common mistakes that untrained bakers make um, in having unsuccessful recipes. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit this morning. Um, obviously the most accurate way you could measure something for baking is by using a scale and to measure the recipe by weight. Um, the problem with that is that Americans, including me, have not used this technique much. Most of our recipes are not written this way. Um, we're not very familiar with it. Um, we just tend to gravitate towards measuring things by volume. So I want to talk about measuring things by volume and I'm just going to get the scale out of the way this morning because I'm just as guilty as anybody else as being a baker who likes to measure things by volume. It's just the way I learned how to bake and kind of what I'm most comfortable with even though I did go to culinary school and I know how to measure things by weight. What measuring things by volume means is that you're going to use a vessel to to measure the amount of ingredient by space um, of what you need. So you can see why this is maybe not as accurate as using a scale, um, but it can be pretty accurate if you know how to do it properly. So first things first, this is a liquid measuring cup. The only thing you want to measure in this cup is liquids. You do not want to measure flour, sugar, anything that's a dry ingredient in a measuring cup like this. And the reason for that is you can see that there's not really a very clear uh, marking on it for you to be able to level off the ingredient and make sure that it's very accurate. Um, it's okay to pour you know, milk or water in there and you can sort of get down at eye level and see that it is level. But when you're measuring a dry ingredient, it can kind of be mounted up on one side or the other and it's just not going to be as accurate. And you know, honestly, I typically hardly ever use these for anything than just mixing some things together. I like to use my dry measuring cups for both liquid and um, dry ingredients. You can put liquids in your dry measuring cups. Um, you just do not want to put dry ingredients in the liquid measuring cups. So um, this is what you're going to want to use to measure your flour, your sugar, anything that's a dry ingredient if you are measuring by volume. Okay, so I had to switch to a tripod really quick so I could show you um, how to do this. I needed both hands. So I want to talk about flour first of all. Um, when you're talking about measuring by volume, I think flour and maybe also powdered sugar are the two things that people um, have the most problems with. So what you really want to do is um, to give your flour like a good stir right before you're going to put it in the measuring cup just so it's not really like densely packed into the container you have it in. And then you're going to use a spoon and you're going to lightly spoon the flour into the measuring cup until it's full. You don't want to dip your measuring cup down into your container or into the bag of flour because it's just going to really pack it down in there. You also don't want to use your spoon to pack the flour into the measuring cup. You're just going to lightly spoon it in until it's full and then we're going to level it off. So once the flour is full um, or the measuring cup is full, then you just use the back of the spoon or a knife and you're just going to level it off. And then that is a properly measured cup of flour. If you were to weigh this, it should weigh about 4.25 ounces. Um, and I've tried this many times and weighed it and it's really accurate if you're going if you do it exactly like this where you fluff it up and you lightly spoon it in, it's almost always right at 4.25. And that's what bakers are writing their recipes based on. So you can see if, if you were to go in and pa really pack it down in there, you're going to get much more flour in your cup um, than what the recipe intended for you to have. So that can cause a lot of problems. So brown sugar is probably really the only ingredient that you're ever going to sort of pack into the measuring cup. Um, if you read a lot of baking recipes, they'll typically 
call for um, brown sugar lightly packed is usually what the phrasing is so um, I typically will go in with my measuring cup into my brown sugar and then I just very gently sort of pack it in there and then level it off with my finger um, and then that's going to give you a nice um, measurement for your brown sugar you don't want to like really really firmly pack it down in there but just kind of lightly press it down and then do the same leveling off as you would do with your uh, flour for for measuring that so that's really the only ingredient that you're ever going to pack into your measuring cup um, if you're measuring powdered sugar you want to just very lightly scoop it in um, level it off um, same with granulated sugar but that is the technique for measuring by volume I hope this helps um, you be a little bit more successful at some baking recipes if that's something you've ever had a problem with. And let me know um, in the comments if there's any other baking techniques or basics about baking that you'd really like to see and learn about. I'd love to help you out. Thanks guys, bye.